Ivy Masters Learning Center and ivymasters.com. And today we're going to look at the ninth question from the Digital SAT Test 1 Module 2. This is from the Blue Book app, the harder step of the reading and writing questions. Number 9 reads, based on the text, how does the Lord Chancellor respond to the crowd? So you've got to see the crowd first and then the response to the crowd. So the answer is most likely to be at the end of this passage. But we read, the following text is adapted from Lewis Carroll. Lewis Carroll's 1889 satirical novel, Sylvia and Bruno. A crowd is gathered outside the room belonging to a warden, an official who reports to Lord Chancellor. So satirical, uh, Saturday Night Live is a good example of satire. It's imitation used to poke fun. And the passage, one man who was more excited than the rest flung his hat into the air and shouted as well as could be made out who roar for the sub ward warden everybody roared but whether it was for the sub warden or not did not clearly appear some were shouting bread and some taxes but no one seemed to know what they really wanted all this i saw from an open window from warden's breakfast saloon looking across the shoulder of lord chancellor Himself. So this must be Lord Chancellor. I've never heard shouting before at this time in the morning, too, and with such unanimity. Unanimity is the noun form of the adjective unanimous. You've probably heard the word unanimous. If they're unanimous, means there's general agreement. Everyone agrees if uh, a vote is unanimous, for example. So once again. How does Lord Chancellor respond to the crowd? So let's go through the answer choices and we'll check back on the text for each. Answer is A. He asks about the meaning of the crowd shouting. He does say, what can it all mean? Even though he claims to know what the crowd wants. Then we read on. I've never heard of such shouting before. That's not saying he knows what the crowd wants. At this time in the morning, not saying what the crowd wants. And with such unanimity, everyone's shouting the same thing. No. Answer is A, is not how he responds. This is pretty typical of an SAT question. The first part of the answer choice draws you in. It's accurate. And then the second part is wrong. So an SAT answer choice, I should say. Answer is B, he indicates a desire to speak to the crowd, even though the crowd has asked to speak to the subwarden. In the quote, we don't see any desire to speak to the crowd. So, he is not as well. Answer is C. He expresses sympathy for the crowd's demands, even the crowds, even though the crowd's shouting annoys him. So if he's sympathetic, he would be like, hey, let's uh, give them what they want. I feel so bad for them, something like that. But he just, none of this is right. He just asks what the crowd, what it means and he's never heard the shouting. He mentions the time of day and everyone um, agreeing, shouting the same thing. Um, I mean, when he says, at this time in the morning too, that could be a sign of annoyance, but um, it could also be like, you know, hey, I'm surprised everyone got up so early to shout about stuff. Answer is D, he describes the crowd as being united. He does say at the end with such unanimity, united, even though the crowd clearly appears otherwise. Um, does the crowd clearly appear otherwise? One guy says, hey, who, who were for the sub warden? Uh, some are shouting bread and some taxes. So it seems like they're shouting all about different stuff. So the, the crowd does not appear to be united. Answer choice D is your correct answer. Thank you for joining us today. If you like this video, click, click like. You can share it with someone who has difficulty with these reading comprehension questions. If there's any question you'd like to see answered from any official PSAT or SAT or ACT, leave that in the comments. I'd be happy to shoot a video on it. Click subscribe so you don't miss anything and check out that one minute video on TikTok.